Welcome to a new year of the Gem Cutter's Craft. To kick this year off, I wanted to start with just a short explanational video. I've had a couple requests for this one, so I thought today's the perfect day to do it. So for the last couple years, I've been asking Sterling to upgrade my handpiece. There's one feature that I kept asking for, and last year they sent me a prototype of this new handpiece, and I know some other people have this now, so I'm not sure if this is the standard handpiece or you have to request this specially, but I've gotten a few requests on how to use this micro vernier handpiece. You can see on the left hand piece the original vernier scale just has a line in the brass part and you line up that line with the number that you want to cut and that's as good as we can do. So if you want it to be on 20 like this one is you put it on the 2. If you want to go to 21 you go to the next line after that and if you need to go in between 20 and 21 then your guess is as good as mine. It's pretty easy to put it halfway between and get it to 20 and a half, or maybe you can even eyeball 20 and a quarter, but any closer than that, it's not really possible. And in my opinion, it's not really necessary, but if you wanna go ahead and follow very specific diagrams that have decimal point angles, then this new one is gonna be useful for you. So notice now, instead of just having one line over here, we have this what I'm calling the micro vernier. So it's the decimal gauge. So our zero line is marked with zero. So if you just wanna line it up to 20, you can put your zero onto 20 and that's 20. If you put the zero line onto 21, that's 21. But now if you wanna get into decimal ranges, we've got this tool down here to help us to do that. So here we can see we're on 20 degrees. And now if I wanna to go to a decimal point like 20.3, then the first thing I need to do is line up my zero line with the closest number, so that'll be 20. Then I look down to the decimal number I want, so that's one, two, three. So there's the third number. So what I need to do is then push this line down to the closest vernier line, so that's gonna be this one. So if I just tilt the head down a little bit, so that the third line is perfectly lined up with the line on the vernier, and I'll go ahead and tighten that. So now I have my third line lined up with the line that's right next to it, and notice that my zero line is now just a tiny bit below 20, so 20.3. This is a number that we never could have previously found, but now, by using these lines, it's quite easy. So let's do one more. Let's say that we wanted to do 42.7. So I'm gonna take my zero line to 42, so 41, two, and then now I'm gonna look down to seven. So there's five, six, seven, and then I need to push this one down to the next line. So it's not this one, it's this one. So if I tilt the head, so the seven is perfectly lined up with that line. I'm gonna tighten it over here. And now you see we're at 42. And then about three quarters of the way down, 42.7. Again, another number that we couldn't have found. If you want to do 42.5, that one's easy. Go to 42. The five line needs to go forward. Tighten it. And now you see that the zero line is halfway between 42 and 43, which is 42.5. So you can do any decimal number here between the whole number to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then finally one is the next biggest number. You probably never need to use one because you could just go to the next whole number up here, but it's there for your convenience as well. So that's just a little tip to kick off your gym cutting new year. Hope you found it helpful. And if you haven't ordered a machine, then I would recommend asking for the micro vernier because it's really handy. I don't use it that much in my cutting, but I could see how, especially if you were doing competition cuts or anything with really specific cuts where you really wanted to hit that specific decimal number, this would be really useful. I have used it occasionally. I don't think it's a deal breaker if you have it or not, but if you have the opportunity to upgrade to it, then why not? Along with, of course, the cheater, which I always recommend and the speed controller if you can justify it. 
It's definitely an exciting time to be using handpiece technology as we're getting all kinds of upgrades all the time. So I hope you have a great gem cutting year. This has been Justin K. Prim, and I will see you out there on the road sometime this year. Later.